All right, hi everybody. So today uh, I want to talk about music theory. Um, I want to basically show some of the beginning parts of music theory, how we get from just the notes that are on the instrument up to some higher concepts. So today I'm going to be starting at the very beginning. Um, there are some ways you can go deeper than where I'm starting, but I'm not, I'm not going there today. So today we're just starting from the notes that are on a guitar or a piano. So we have... Did I do that right? One, two, three. Well, sharps. One, two, three, four, five sharps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven naturals. Cool. We're good so far. All right. So this is just a listing of the notes that are on most of the instruments that we have. Um, for example, E is the open string on the guitar. And we have a fret separating each of these. Now, these notes, if you just play them, don't sound very good. And you, you should pick up an instrument and go ahead and do that real quick. Just play each fret in order from the E string uh, open, low, then fret one, fret two, fret three, fret four, fret five, fret six, etc. And uh, you'll hear it, it sounds nice. The notes sort of go together, but it would be very, very hard to make a song out of it. It's just a list of ingredients. What we're going to talk about is how to get from the list of ingredients to something approximating Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, and Do. The pattern that we use for this is this. So a whole step means that we would jump over a note. So a whole step, for example, might be from C to D. A half step, the H, is from E to F, notes that are adjacent. You just go to the next note, whole step, you skip a note. So if C is our main note, ah, C, then how do we find the rest? Well, this is this pattern. So C, a whole step for that brings us to D. From D, a whole step brings us to E. Next thing, we did two whole steps. Now we have a half step from E, half step F. From F, we have another whole step, so F whole step G. From G, we have another whole step, A. From A, we have another whole step, B, and from B we have a half step bringing us back to C, which I wrote in a minute ago. So that's our C scale. Uh, that'll sound Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, if we're starting on C and C is Do. But what if Do was D? So D is our starting note. Well, then we would have to perform the same movements, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, starting on D. So from D, whole step brings us to E. From E, we do another whole step, and we get F sharp. That's important, because that's something that C and D don't have in common. They already had the D in common and the E in common, but now the Fs are different from each other. So we had a whole, whole. From F sharp, whole step, uh, half step brings us to G. From G, we are now back on whole steps, so a whole step will bring us to A. Next whole step will bring us to B. And then I didn't really write it in here, but this would continue the same direction. So an additional whole step would bring us to C sharp. And then our final half step should land us on D. If we're on C sharp and we do a half step, yep, D. So that would be our D scale. These two sound very, very similar. They sound basically the same, but the difference is that this one starts on C, this one starts on D. They're two different keys, but they end up kind of sounding the same. All right, so let's go ahead and solve the rest of these. We'll do E. We're going to do F, but we're going to do it last. We're going to do G. And we're going to do A. 
that's we're not going to do all the rest because they're just not used as often. So E, whole step, brings us to F sharp. I'm going to go ahead and pause in the middle of these so that you can try to figure it out yourself while you're watching the video. So after E, we did a whole step to get to F sharp. We're going to have another whole step after that. We did our first whole step. Now we have to do our next whole step. That'll bring us to G sharp. Now we're on a half step. Half step from G sharp brings us to A. We're now on three whole steps in a row. First one brings us to B. From B, whole step brings us to C sharp. From C sharp, whole step brings us to D sharp. We're now on the final half. Uh, D sharp, half step, brings us back to E. First and last match, we did it correctly. All right, so we're going to do F, but we're going to come back to it. We're going to do G next. So G, whole step, first whole step. Second whole step. Half step. Whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Half step. First and last match. Cool. Now from A, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right, now you'll notice in these that each one has a different number of sharps and flats. So C has none of any. D has two sharps. E has four sharps. G has one sharp. A has three sharps. And that's kind of what makes all of them unique to each other. They all have a different number of sharps. Different notes are sharp, but also they each have a different number of sharps. Um, so F is a little bit weird because there's a couple of rules that I didn't bring up yet. You have to have one of each letter. And you cannot have uh, any, well, how do I write this? No duplicate. letters. So F is going to seem a little bit weird when we do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and start on that. F, we do a whole step. That brings us to G. G, we do a whole step. That brings us to A. A, we do a half step. So that brings us to... Can you all see that? A to A sharp. Well, we can't have that because then the whole step after it would bring us to C. We would end up with A, A sharp, C. There would be no B, and there would be two A's. So the A sharp, that is the right note, but we're not going to call it that. We're going to call it B flat, so just to get a B in there. All right, so from C, we have a whole step to D. D, we have a whole step to E, and E, we have a half step back to F. Those are the musical keys that get used really often. I'm going to come back to this topic on some other times, but that is the basics of how you count out a scale um, and the major scale formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. You want to be able to do this in your head um, or just have it memorized. For me, sitting down and just route memorization didn't seem like a very fun idea. So to me, the idea was to memorize the list of notes that we have and memorize the ways we can move through them and then solve my problems as they come up. I'm sorry, one more thing. F has one flat. All right, thanks. That's all for today. Adios.